lost phone communications. Yep. Diva scores again. Copy. It's the youthful eyes. This is, uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> so this is a C pen. It's an unusual C pen. It's the, actually the first C pen we've seen. Um, there are two species in the Gulf of Mexico. I'm not sure how you distinguish them. And uh, whereas most sea pens have their polyps, this is an octocoral. It's one of the um, three major groups under octocoralia. And you can see each of those polyps has eight tentacles, and each tentacle has little side branches. And all of that is characteristic of octocorals, which include both the, the soft corals, the gorgonians, uh, sea whips, many of the sea whips and sea pens. Um, but most sea pens have their polyps in uh, along branches along much of the stalk. And Umbalula is unusual in having its polyps concentrated at the very top of the stalk. And there looks like, is that a, can we zoom in on that little crustacean? See what that is, some kind of... Uh, is that a regular shrimp? Now, that's not an, a regular shrimp. That looks like it could be a either maybe a leptostracan or a mycid because it does not have uh, abdominal appendages. It's swimming with the exopods of its uh, thoracic appendages, and it looks like it has a... Um, an, um, a brood pouch with dark red eggs in it. So my my initial um, guess is uh, a mycid mm -hmm. shrimp. Yeah, I Very agree. cool. Because mycids are known to be brooders, aren't they? Yes, they are. They are brooders. They are in the same major group of crustaceans as the isopods, uh, the pill bugs, side. the Can't amphipods, but just let you know where and you a are. few others. Understood. And they all have this brood pouch yeah, under gotta, their thorax. Yeah, I can. That's a beautiful can little bison. And an amazing shot. Yes. Video's clear. Copy. Look okay, at that. let's come wide video. So this is a reminder that the site we're exploring today has never been explored before. Um, in fact, there haven't been many dives even remotely close to here. So whatever we're seeing is going to be brand new to us as well as everyone watching. And it's going to be really important for um, understanding a little bit more about this area of the West Florida escarpment.